Okay, so we will make a helmet today. I'm going to start with a sphere. Now bear in mind that if I make a sphere in the top view, this sphere, it has latitudes and longitudes. The poles are on the top and the bottom. If I do it in the left view, you see, you can see in the front view that the poles where the light longitudes meet are on the sides. And that's how, that's important because that's how the visor goes up and down. I'm going to make this low poly. I'm going to make it 16 around. So the segments I'm going to make is really, really low, 16 segments. I'm going to place, make sure that, it's, that this is sitting on zero. <coughs> so I've got a ball, okay? I start with this. Uh, <coughs> I may need to redo it the other way because when I did the other one, I actually did do it with the axis on top and bottom. Actually, let me do let me do it the other way because I have a distinct advantage in doing it from top to bottom, and that is I can chop it off instantly. So I'll make it from top to bottom, setting everything to zero. And now what I'm doing is, you see the hemisphere option. This hemisphere option allows me to make the sp sphere into a hemisphere, okay? It allows me to make the sphere into a hemisphere. I'll make it somewhere here, uh, maybe. Somewhere here, I think, is all right. <coughs> I'm going to convert this to an editable poly. Maybe one more segment, 17 segments. convert this into an editable poly. You can see right now it is closed at the bottom. Okay. I'll do something about it but not now. I've converted it into an editable poly. The first thing let me try and do is create the visor. So I come to polygon. From the side view with my crossing on, I'm just selecting these polygons, okay? I'm selecting uh, maybe these. Slightly lower ones. <coughs> There's an option here called detach. And uh, this is where I spend a lot of my time trying to find the things. I found attach, next to attach is detach, okay. So I'm going to call it, it's going to detach as a separate object. So now I've got this object here. I should have not taken the side polygons because they are now curved, but uh, I shall live with it. I'm going to take both of these. Scale them down. 
this fellow I'm just gonna move it out a bit scale it out a bit overall this shape here behind has to be a bit smaller so I'm just going to take the back object and scale it a bit down so the visor is a bit loose and can move in front you see this is just an, a set of polygons paper thin you see paper thin if I use a modifier called shell shell modifier I can make it thick okay I can make it thick if I use a shell modifier and I can choose how much my thickness will be see that I can make it I can make it a bit thick so I've got a shell modifier happening there next what I want is I want a bit of a taper on it so I'm gonna put a taper amount on it and I need to get the axis right I'm trying to get So I need to taper it this way, Z. Okay. And effect should happen in, if I'm going in Z, the effect should be happening X, Y. It is probably doing what I want. Yeah, that, that's something which I do want and you can see I want it a bit the jaw face so I've applied a taper on it <coughs> you can see this object if I now rotate it will rotate like a visor there are few things that we need to do to add detail to this I will first bring it closer to the helmet now this one an easy way to add detail and I should probably Scale it and fit it. Whenever you're adding detail to things like armor, what you can do is to take polygons and bevel them. So I'm going to convert this to an editable poly because I like it the way it is. And I'm going to take three from this side. and three sets from this side I'm gonna make a Darth Vader kind of breather for it uh, just gonna bevel it inwards I'm going to bevel it as a individual local normal by polygon that means each polygon is beveled inwards I have a bit of a bevel going there and a bit of this so some kind of a metallic pattern there or just a waffle pattern so it's not flat anymore okay I've just beveled it to make some kind of a pattern if I give it a different color or different texture of holes you know those speaker texture the speakers it will look like they are metallic pores that you can breathe in through <coughs> that's one thing now this fellow up here 
I'm just going to come to the top view. And in a very easy way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these polygons here on top. Okay. Just want to make sure that there are other polygons that are on top. Yep, there are. And that I haven't selected some wrong ones. Uh, probably one more. And what I'm going to do to these polygons is I'm just simply going to extrude them to make some kind of a, I don't know, I could make it metal, I could make it a hair texture to make some kind of a knight's helmet. Um, increase this value here. And I'm just going to take it. Uh, I could probably go to the top view and use my scale icon to scale these polygons on top just to make it tapered here a bit of taper that's all my helmet is ready okay now one thing you see this fellow to make him ex move exactly around i can i can choose the pivot of this guy under hierarchy i can say effect pivot only and i can see the pivot is here the pivot is actually let me turn it off the pivot is actually the point around which it will rotate see that so if i was to animate it so there that's done what i finally did was that i took two small hemispheres and i just put it on the sides so I took one hemisphere from the side. I took one hemisphere from the side. You see that? And you can add nuts and bolts as much detail as you want. Tiny, tiny, small bevels, whatever you want. So I got a hemisphere on this side, very low poly, very low poly. And I come to this fellow here, mirror, copy, come to the top view, right click to the top view, move it to the other side, and I have, and I have a nut on the other side. Okay, uh, this one has actually come out a bit, so let me push it in. I should really rotate it from the front view so that it uh, looks quite all right, but I think. By the time I actually render it and put it in the game, and it, it'll look fine. So, no materials yet. Simple thing. Now, you remember this guy. This guy is closed at the bottom. You see this? He's closed at the bottom. I can go to Polygon, choose this option, and just select the bottom polygons. Sorry, I was on border. Polygon. Select these polygons and hit delete. And this entire object, I can then shell it. I can just, if I want, I can shell it. Okay, see, I can't see it anymore. Max does that to me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep an outer amount to zero and inner amount to just an inner amount so it's there and if I wanted I could convert it to an editable poly and I could pull out things like strips from the side if I wanted I could pull this whole thing out and make a mesh for the shoulder and the chest a lot of things I could do with this helmet further on but for now this will suffice it's uh, one of the ways of making a helmet you can choose your design in your art class whatever you draw you choose your helmet you make your helmet it doesn't have to be uh, my helmet this is one of the ways but if you do it this way at the very least even if you do it just for the sake of your assignment at least I know you've done it 
I know you have played with 3D. I know that you have used all the modifiers and tools to be able to make this helmet. Okay?